So we're continuing on our quest to determine what is slope. Remember, slope is a number and it measures the rate of change of a line. Let's look at three lines, all of which have positive slope. And in fact, we're going to look at three lines which start at the same point. To make it easier to understand their relative changes, we're going to have them start at the same point. Later on, we'll see that this is an important, but right now it's a good plan to have them all start at the same point. First, let's check. Do they all have positive slope? How do we do that? We look from left to right, whether they're increasing, the way we read. From left to right, this one's going up, positive slope. Left to right, this one's going up, positive slope. Left to right, this one's going up, positive slope. So all three have positive slopes. So if I have a number here, a number here, and a number here, all three of those numbers are bigger than zero. Now, let's look at their relative place. This slope is positive, but it's not increasing as fast as this line is increasing. And this line is not increasing as fast as Mr. Greeny. So, all three slopes are positive, but the slope of blue is smaller than the slope of yellow, smaller than the slope of green. That is, the slope of green is bigger than the slope of yellow, which is bigger than the slope of blue, which is bigger than zero.